Hey besties and welcome to vlogmas day nine I believe I wanted to do this video for a long time and I felt like today was a good day because I didn't really have anything else going on and I was like this is the perfect opportunity. So welcome to my backyard tour. I really wanted to show you guys a full context of my life so that my vlogs kind of make a little bit more sense because I do feel like my life and my house and property is all very unique and it's just something that I think should be explained. So I have lived in the same house my entire life. My parents have lived here for about, I think, either 16 and a half or 17 years, so nearly how old I am. And I definitely think that living here gave me a sense of like, peace our neighborhood only has old people there's pretty much nothing nothing threatening whatsoever and I was able to like walk around in my bare feet with my friends ever since I was little my parents moved from Houston right in the city to here because it's more country and a lot of the people are really hospitable and just a lot kinder than city people are if you've ever been to the city, specifically like LA, you know what I'm talking about, people can be very cranky. Our property started as just a singular house, the main house, the big house as we call it. Then we added on the apartment where I stay. You can see any of my room makeovers to kind of figure out that story. And then in 2020, my mom decided that she wanted to add onto the property in the backyard even more because she looks forward to the day that all of her kids have kids. And when our children come and hang out at like their grandparents' house, they want it to be very, very magical. My my mom is pretty much the main executive when it comes to the property and all of the rest of us kind of get to reap the benefits. Our next project, by the way, is going to be a little playground, which I'm super excited about. It's going to be really, really cool. So anyways, here we go. Without the words, the feelings unheard can still be just as sincere. But something's not right. So this first section, I feel very lucky to kind of see the most of it. So behind me, this building right here is where I stay. And oh my gosh, the couch that we still haven't sold on Facebook Marketplace. We'll get to it, I promise. So I can, this is like my view from the living room. I can see all of this out here. And I also do a lot of photo shoots out here. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. Most of my clients, like when they want photos, they'll be like, oh, where's this location? And they'll show me a photo of this location. I'm like, that's my backyard. So the very first thing that we put on our property was the chapel in 2020. My mom saw it at, we went to vacation somewhere in Texas <laughs> during Christmas season. She saw their chapel and we took photos there and she was in love, couldn't stop thinking about it and obsessing over it. So then all of a sudden we had a chapel on our property and from there everything just kind of was added on. The pond that you see has always been here. We actually swam in it once when we were little kids, which I think is kind of disgusting because it is like an actual pond pond but anyways <laughs> i love that we took something that was already here and kind of accentuated it with all the things that we put like the bridge and the chapel and the dock and so this area is one of my favorites it definitely feels the most magical the most like the notebook movie or something and um i'm obsessed with it so first things first we have this fireplace this all of this wood right here is actually the cabinet that we got rid of my brothers and i from my christmas living room makeover so you should definitely check out that video as you can see there is the path from the apartment deck to this whole area i love when it gets full of leaves in like the winter and the fall time it just looks so cool and a lot of times in the spring and summer will actually dye it blue here is the bridge my mom did all of this like having the stones kind of carving this place out it used to just be like grass and dirt which wasn't cute i sit on this table a lot and also what i love about our pond it's kind of interesting it's always pretty full like we've never really had it completely empty but it's always trickled out this way and then into this narrow spot here sometimes this is full but a lot of times it's not nearly as full as the rest of the pond and i just feel like the way that it was naturally made was really cool and i can't really picture a better place to put the bridge it just makes a lot of sense because it gets narrow here and the bridge is perfect i love it it used to be green at one point because the inspiration was off monet's garden bridge i love creative things and stepping outside your comfort zone but I honestly didn't like the green bridge at all so I was really happy when my mom decided to paint it black I just think it looks a lot more sophisticated and more like an actual bridge the green was like it kind of looks like a little playground and it's like that's not what we're going for here okay so when you cross the bridge the most magical thing in the world you approach the chapel The 
chapel has had a lot of different uses over the years and the most recent one was an art gallery for an event that my dad put on where basically his friends who are artists were able to come take photos or paint and we displayed it inside the chapel. This is what it looks like. These front steps are very picture perfect and my mom actually did this herself. She got all of these flowers from the dollar store, I think. Here's what the chapel looks like. It's a very interesting room and I love coming up with ideas to use this chapel for. So here's all the art that we had recently. Um, it's super cool. I actually took those photos that are right there. So it currently just has like a meeting sitting area and a little bookshelf, but this thing kind of changes around a lot depending on the use for it. And I love how it has the red floors. I just think it's so cool. And it matches my green toenails. The dock over here was added, I believe, for my dad because my dad loves to sit outside in the morning and do his work, even when it's like boiling hot. I love being outside, but not when it's hot. And so respect for him because he he's always out here. I love this little area. I honestly don't come out here as much as I should. Like, I definitely feel like this dock right here was in the perfect location. I think my mom made the decision pretty perfectly. As you can see, there's a chair here. This is where my dad sits. There's another chair in case you you're having a visit. I definitely want to come out here and journal soon when the weather is even colder later in this month. But it has a perfect view of the pond and I'm excited because I know eventually we want to do a water fountain in the pond which I really think will top this all off and make it just perfect. All right, so I am making my way completely around the pond and going to the other side of the apartment where you'll find the stage. All right, so the stage is over here. This wall here is a part of the apartment. One thing I really love about my parents is their enthusiasm for other people. We love to like host events for people who need to show off their artisticness, their talents, really whatever it is that they are kind of passionate about. And so we built a stage. We've had a few parties where people have come and they've done like acting monologues or singing. I cannot remember what made us want to make the stage. I think it just kind of appeared to my mom as an idea of just like, oh, let's do this. I'm actually gonna have a party soon and I'm thinking of hosting majority of it out here by the stage because it's very much like a good hangout spot. It's also next to the pool stuff that keeps the pool running. That's why you always hear the tss. <laughs> the grass is completely fake, which I think was a good call. It's like that golf grass that people use for golf course courses. The stage is bigger than the stage that's like opposite it where people sit and enjoy themselves. And I like how all the chairs are kind of assorted and different colored and stuff. It just makes it very exciting down here. Currently my music stuff is down here because I didn't have anywhere else to put it and this is like a good spot for it. This place I probably spend the least amount of time at because it's more of like an event place. But comment down below ideas I could do to host parties and stuff at this stage because I feel like I need to be getting more creative and using this to our advantage. Not many people have a stage and it's like, it's a very cool thing, but sometimes I just like forget we have it. So yeah, right there, that is my piano, microphone, and speaker. And every once in a while I come down here and make sure it's not like getting dust on it and stuff, but for the most part, it's good. I love how there's then this like secret pathway over to like the more open section of our house. Go through this little arch, which falls down all the time. <laughs> And here is like the most open and most used part of our backyard. If you watch my videos, then you've definitely probably seen this area. This couch area is my favorite. It's right under the trees, and so it's always pretty shady. And it's just so comfortable. I love this couch. I always come out here to read, write, all the stuff. Actually, over summer, there were about two months that I couldn't be out here, and I was devastated. I loved it so much. And I'm so glad that's finally cool enough to be out here. The idea for this was really for our parties, like just a good hangout spot. It's right next to our outdoor kitchen and it just kind of works really well with like gatherings and stuff. This giant table next to me, my mom actually completely built herself, which is just so impressive. It's a really nice table and it fits a ton of people. I've had a lot of sleepovers with a few girls and having us all sit there for breakfast is just very, very nice. So then following the stones and the pathways, over here is where I park my car. This is actually the newest addition to the house. My mom was getting tired of people when they came over parking on the grass because we pay to get our grass done. So here's the parking space and in the middle, we actually have this miniature pond and this little bench here. This is a nice place to come when you're waiting for like a friend to arrive. I'll stay out here and just like wait. 
this is where I used to park in this section here. But now this is more of like a gathering area. And actually for a while when we had one of our parties, we had um, a couch out here and a little fireplace. So this, this thing kind of changes around a lot. But there are lights which look really nice when you're driving up at nighttime. All right, so then going back through the stage, behind the stage is a really long path. Oh, hello. Through the forest, the forest that we pretty much never went to when we were younger. We had a dominant side of the forest that we would hang out in and like explore. But this side was always really foresty with a lot of like sharp things. So I'm really glad to like be able to explore it now. This path takes you all the way to another area you've probably seen before, which is our yoga studio. My sister's camper so I really need to do a camper tour that will be in another video my sister re-renovated hello not all the bushes an entire like junky RV camper thing and made it into an adorable tiny living space and it's it's amazing it's so cool what they've done well my mom did a lot of the work but Laura did a lot of like the decorating and the planning and so together as a team it was just such a cool experience to see. So this little house behind me has actually always been on our property. We have a well so we have a little pump house that covers the pump and when we were younger it was like full of cob cobwebs and we would come over and play like we were homeless and we would like wear rags and bake food, bring it over. It was just a very imaginative thing when we were little and every time we would have our friends over we were always like oh my gosh we should turn the pump house into a bedroom or a tree house or something like that and so we would come over and like sweep it and put nail polish on the walls and like try and turn it into something but of course we were little and didn't know what we were doing. So once we got on a roll of like the chapel the bridge all the things my mom was like okay we need to re-renovate the pump house into an actual working house so now it has electricity it has a bathroom AC it's crazy it's literally a childhood dream come true she has a little business where she does like stretching and yoga and stuff and I actually take her classes sometimes and it's super duper cool So this is it. It's so weird to remember what it used to be. Like it was pitch black, broken glass everywhere. So it's so crazy. Um, it's completely white. The floors are gray. My sister has all of her supplies here. Stretching in here is so nice, especially when she turns on the heat on cold days. This is the bathroom. It's nothing crazy. And then right here, there's also a sink. So in this whole little area, like where my sister is, there's also this fire. I had a sleepover with some girls and we all stayed by the fire and it was so fun. This is a very good spot for it because you can literally see the whole entire house and with the green grass especially, just super cool. Over here is more like garden section stuff. I'm not gonna show you guys my garden because I'm slightly embarrassed that all my plants died. So I'll just show you my sister's plants. Ooh, so cool. She definitely has the green thumb and I definitely don't. Between all these trees is my sister's clothesline, which I actually copied and did myself in a recent vlog, so if y'all saw that. Here is her personal parking space where her clients also come and there's enough room for both of them. So then this driveway here, that's kind of like disintegrating a little bit. This is actually what our sole driveway used to be. And over where the pool was, we would just like park the cars on these little stones and it was just kind of like, our cars would just be out, there was no garage, and the garage that we did have, we like didn't use. It was it was just didn't make as much sense. So I think it's been it's been a long time since this, but this whole driveway here where we now like park our car and stuff, we did ourselves. So now we technically have two driveways. This is the main one, and then this is the one that leads to my sister's house. So that is pretty much it. Those are all of the main places in our backyard at the moment, but I just know that pretty soon there's gonna be more, and I'm excited to do more updates on our backyard. It's a super special place. I really feel like I'm so thankful to live at a place like this. And it's really cool because my parents never plan on selling this house at all. And so I can kind of dream about what it's gonna be like to bring my kids here. And it's just a really special thing. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. Or I guess I'll see you tomorrow because Vlogmas. <laughs>